Entertainment presents Bob and Jay's Pro Football Podcast with your host, Bob Katie and Jay. Welcome, everybody, to Bob and Jay's Pro Football Podcast Week 10. Welcome. And a lot of things already hitting the wire and hitting the line that we're keeping track of. Yeah. Yes, sir. More and more injuries. Yeah. Quarterbacks going down a plenty. Yeah. <laughs> They're going down everywhere. Yes, sir. Soon as some get healthy, more go down. Yep. Uh, where do we get at now? Um, I guess we will. Review our week number. Actually, I got a week question nine. for you. Yeah. What did you think of the um, poke in the eye? Uh, you think you, you think he's he's talking crap, or that that uh, that he actually meant to push him, or as we're talking about Akeem looked, Talib yeah, of the it Broncos? Looked, it looked pretty deliberate to me from what I saw. I mean, I only saw it quick. I mean, and that was uh, but. I, I you know. yeah those I didn't glo- hear any those gloves are so funky because they look like they're like split somewhere where it's like mm-hmm. E T finger or something or Spock finger. So they're weird looking I, but bottom line is he shouldn't have been going towards his face with anything anyway, you know what I mean? That's, yeah. That's, yeah. Even if it was an accident. If I didn't hear his explanation, but his uh, explanation was he was. meant to go kind of push it push uh-huh. him push his head. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. And he just it just you know, with yeah. the lunge in there, which yeah. I mean, I I kind of see like you know, okay because look, you know, they do that a lot. You know, they would yeah. push at the head, you know, or something like that. But it did look, it did look kind of suspicious. That was just uh, you know, I don't know that whole thing. The sportsmanship in this league is really, really going downhill quick, in my opinion. Yeah, there, there, there's he know, lost his appeal today by the. Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah I didn't read that. I he saw did, the headline he, here, but. He did lose his appeal, mm-hmm. so he will be suspended the one game. One game, yeah. That uh, for that, yeah, it's it, yeah. That that just didn't look good. And of course, yeah. the other one with uh, Teddy Bridgewater, I don't think that was necessarily. Mm. Yeah, I didn't think that that was. Uh, I didn't think that was as bad. I don't think it. Right. I don't think it was really deliberate. Yeah, I just think it was. You know, it's so hard when the quarterbacks slide because right. you just. They show a clip of them for five seconds, get hit, mm-hmm. and I'm like, "Well, you got to realize that defender started ten seconds, ten right. seconds before in motion." It's hard to stop your body. Or- <laughs> yeah, I, it was. Well, it was just bad that he kind of lowered that elbow a bit. Yeah, though. that was kind of. I mean, he was gone once he hit the turf. Yeah, he was out cold, which puts my Vikings pick um next week kind of. Matter of fact, that's the only one I haven't picked because mm-hmm. I was waiting I to I see if I heard off anything. On that too. <laughs> that was the one I was kind of Make that one on the fly. I was kind of waiting for, you know, yep. on that one. But uh, and uh, I guess we well, should mention it. The big one that just came down is Andrew Luck out two to six weeks. Yeah, lacerated the, kidney. Oof. Yeah. When you're in, when you're in, when they said, would they they also said some kind of something in the abdomen too. Oh really? It lacerated kidney and something like a uh, a laceration in the in the um, let me pull the story up. in the abdomen or something. Really? So yeah, ugh. yeah, whatever it is, it's ugh, is right. Yeah, not good. <laughs> yeah, he finally gets the big win and gets and uh, you know oh, pulls a partial out partial tear of abdominal muscle. That's it. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, that so. too. Yeah, that's just ugly. Yep. At this point, if he has to stay out six weeks, what's – well, I guess the point being is they're in such a terrible division. Right. Yeah, it's up <laughs> for grabs. I mean, that division's right up for grabs. Hasselback <laughs> did go 2-0 and oh <laughs> yeah. during that. Yeah. So – and are the Colts on – are the Col- – did the Colts have – the Colts have a bye, so there's already one. They're yeah, on, they're, they're on, on a bye. The, uh, they're on a bye, yep. Yeah. So that's already one. Yeah, they could uh, – <laughs> with again in that division, hmm? nobody wants to stand up and yeah. and uh, make a claim. All right, let's get into week number nine. Yes, Browns ten, Bengals thirty one. Browns weren't that pesky. No, they weren't pesky. Uh, first half they were. Yeah, the first half. I was gonna say first half was uh, 
tight, but then uh, kind of broke open. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Man. Cincinnati, eight, no, for the first time ever. Yeah. Yeah. They're, like I said, I'm on their bandwagon until they hit the playoffs. <laughs> then I'll go find another one to go on because <laughs> yep. I, pick- I won't be picking them yep. on that. Uh, Menzel, he looks good. Yeah. He has but, his moments. Uh, yeah, yeah it, but you also have to tend to wonder with the Browns, they they really don't have a lot of weapons. No. Nah. You know, they they don't. No. Yep. So you tend to wonder, I mean, are you you no know, wonder why uh McCown is injured all the time because he's taking a beating because he's got no way to get the football. Yeah. Him. So that's that's just pretty that's a brutal situation and it didn't help that Right before that game, they looked like they tried to sell off half the team yeah. in a fire sale. <laughs> yeah. You know, like it was – it reminded me like it was baseball or something because that's yeah. what baseball teams normally do when they can't make the playoffs. They get rid of all the players. Yeah. And uh, I'd never seen it in, really in football before, but that's kind of seen what it was like. They were asking high prices mm-hmm. from what I understand. Yeah. Which, uh, I yeah, that's – that's that's why they can't seem to get off my f- uh, dumpster fire list, yeah. which, by the way, I have at the end. <laughs> I have my f- top five dumpster fires. <laughs> nice. So continue that for the rest of the season to see. Ooh, that should be fun. <laughs> um, Packers 29, Panthers 37. Yeah. Panthers um, just keep rolling. Yeah, in a way, kind of shock. Kind but, of shock. Not shocking necessarily that the Panthers won because I, I did pick them. But kind of in the way the game unfolded, mm-hmm. how they dominated Green Bay in the first half. Yeah. And then Green Bay just pulling, scratching, and dragging their way back into the game. Yeah. They almost, and, almost uh, tied it up there at the end. But Yeah. Aaron Rodgers still, even in doing that, he looked like he was just disheveled yeah. the whole game. Yeah. Even coming back, it just he just looked disheveled. Yeah. That's the word I'm looking for, disheveled. Yeah, the Panthers, they just keep. Yeah, they keep rolling, man. They, that surprised Well, I, you know, I didn't pick them this week. I picked Green Bay. I thought they were, were going to go down there and uh, pull one out. But uh, Carolina, man, they're, they're rolling. That's And that's not good for the Packers. Back-to-back weeks yeah. against undefeated teams at the time. Correct. And that's not good. Good news is they get Detroit this week. So. <laughs> <laughs> By week. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Redskins 10, Patriots 27. Well, yeah, that was what we thought it would be. <laughs> Patriots are getting a little banged up, though. Yeah, yeah, they, they some... lost Lewis there. That was a big and they lost the lineman, loss. didn't they? I think, yeah, I and think I read Soldier. S- is it Soldier? Soldier, yeah. I think it, him. One of the, I don't know, one of them they lost another, uh, another lineman. So, hey, I'm, you got to fight through the injuries. <laughs> oh, they seem to be fighting very well. I'd like them to see. To start playing some actual real opponents, though. yeah, you know, instead of the and dumpster at, fires of the NFL, and to not be at home, it seems like they're at home every week. <laughs> they're not this week, <laughs> but then again, they're not playing the great. They, they, they just, yeah. it doesn't help that the the NFC division they're going, they're playing this season is right. a complete dumpster fire yeah, in itself, pretty much. Yep. So that's yeah, I mean that's is what it is. The Redskins, you know, <laughs> yep. They're the only non. They're the only person that nobody's mentioning to win the NFC East mm-hmm. <laughs> in that division. Yeah. Even the Cowboys have only won two games. They're like, once they get Romo back, yeah. they could make yeah. a push. The Redskins, nah. Titans thirty four, Saints twenty eight. That's wow. a big one. Yeah, wow. That's all it, I had to say about that. Why <laughs> is Rob Ryan still have a job? I know. I can't. Why does two Rob Ryan like still that, yeah. two weeks? That's this yeah. has been like this is yeah, like the actually, third season. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I mean, the yeah. third season, your team is basically in the crapper because mm. your defense just cannot yeah. stop anything. Right? Why does that guy have a job? Yeah, that's crazy. Fire him! Fire him! That guy is just—he's living on a reputation that's not even his. It's right. his father's and Rex's. Yep. You know, it's like. <sighs> And, you know, in Tennessee, on the other hand, you know, two Mariota had uh, some good play and uh, 371 yards. And I still think it was so. too late for them to pull the pull the cord. Uh, um, unless there was, unless Wisenhunt had lost the team somehow. Mm. Yeah. Which we, uh, obviously we won't know unless yeah. somebody comes out with that. Yeah. 
I still think it was yeah, me too. I think pretty so. premature to pull the to pull it out right yeah. from underneath him. I agree on that. You know what I mean? I, and and how can you? I guess how can you sit there? It, it's hard to sit there and go, well, they look good for the first week without the after the head coach was fired. Yeah. Well, they got their starting quarterback. That's back, back too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that makes a big difference right there. Yep. Uh, obviously, I'm not a big Malarkey fan. He was the Bills head coach for yeah. like a cup of coffee. <laughs> and uh, he wasn't – obviously, he hasn't been one since. Or has he? No, he was for one year in Jacksonville. Even Jacksonville didn't want him. <laughs> so good luck, Titans, with that. Um, Dolphins 17, Bills 33. Uh, mm-hmm. Got some yeah. music? Oh, uh, hey. well, I got something. <laughs> no one circles the wagons. Like the Buffalo Bills. I'll go with that since they came off a two-game slide there. Yeah. And at home, a three-game losing streak at home, they they kill, they they finally pulled out. Well, it's it's also nice when you have a healthy running, starting running back, yeah. healthy starting wide receiver, and a healthy quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> Makes a big difference. Sammy Watkins was off the chain. 168. They were the first team in NFL history to have two – Running backs go over 100 yards, and a wide receiver go over 150 yards. Hmm. The only team in NFL history to do that. I was nice. like, all right. I didn't think it was going to be this big of a blowout. I thought the second time around, mm-hmm. I thought, okay. Yeah, they blew them out earlier in the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this one was this one was somewhat somewhat nip and tuck until halfway through the third when jerry hughes unloaded on Tannehill, and then it mm-hmm. all went downhill from there for the <laughs> dolphins <laughs> all went downhill especially then dominican sue with a hot mic did you see that no i didn't there uh there was a play where he had grabbed tyrod taylor uh-huh. and he was trying to be i guess in his mind trying to be nice mm-hmm Ty, they weren't blowing the whistle, and Tyrod was still on his feet. So uh-huh. he got the he with one arm, literally. He was had Sue draped over him, just kind of chucked the ball out uh-huh. of bounds. Which he did it. it. He was out of the tackle box. It was legal play, yeah. and Sue just screamed at the ref, and the ref had a hot mic, oh. <laughs> and he said, "Next time I'm well, eh, it doesn't matter if we swear. Next time I'm gonna fucking dr- drill him in the ground." <laughs> nice. So he was pissed. Nice. Yeah, he was real, <laughs> real pissed. It was kind of funny though. Um, funny. Uh, Dan Campbell, a huge bunch of blunders at the end of the first half. He elects to go for it instead of take points, mm-hmm. which is and they can't get it in from the one yard line. Yeah. They pass. Like, really, I, mm-hmm. I I'm never a big fan of when you get within two uh, one or two yards of the goal line passing if you can't punch it in. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So they messed up right there, got no points before the half, mm-hmm. came out, had an impressive drive. Uh, it, halfway through the third, Buffalo gets the fumble off of Tannehill, and they're having penalty problems, can't get seem to get out of their way. And for some reason, Campbell, instead of taking the penalty and having it be fourth down, Decide or or to decline the penalty, he accepts the penalty, mm-hmm. gives Buffalo another shot. Yeah. Tyrod Taylor hits Sammy Watkins on the bomb. Yeah, to, you know it's like wow, oh, just bad decisions by him. Now I guess you know why intern is in the front of coach <laughs> for him. Oh, yeah. But uh, Buffalo healthy is a different team by far mm-hmm. than uh, uh, a nice stat. Buffalo's offense has had a total – before this game, Buffalo's starting offense, all the starting players, mm-hmm. has had only ha, had had only 12 plays together all season. Yeah. So <laughs> it, it, they've just beat up from one end to another. Mm-hmm. Rams 18, Vikings 21. Yeah, overtime. Yeah. St. Louis almost went up there and stole one. Yeah, that was – both teams are just – the Rams have definitely found – the way they want to play football, mm-hmm. run that ball and take as much out of um, what's his face is what's the quarterback's name? Uh, Bridgewater. No. Oh, the Rams. Oh, the Rams. Uh, is it Folk? Uh, I forget his name. Something. Is it Folk? Something like that. You know, take it out of his hands as much as possible. 
<coughs> and the Vikings now, obviously, are. Uh, I think the Vikings are going to could could do some damage. The Vikings do seem to play to their opponent, though, mm-hmm. which I guess I don't know. When you say that about a team, you wonder if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But if they're playing to their opponent, that means they're rising to opponents that are above them that they're playing. So yeah, um, I guess that might be a good thing. But Nick Foles, that was Nick Foles. Yeah. That's yeah. it, Fol- yeah. Foles. Yes, but uh, you know uh, the Rams. I don't know. And then we don't know if Teddy Bridgewater is going to. Yeah, he's be. going through concussion proto- protocol. Yeah, um, that fun thing. And one of the kickers, and I'm not sure which team. I should have probably looked at that. One of the kickers, Zerloin. I don't know if he was for Minnesota. I didn't write that, but he hit a 61 yard field goal, which was the first. I first, think that was the Rams. First uh, 60 plus yarder in two years. It was the Rams did. because I think he missed the field goal afterwards. Yeah, that was a lot yeah, shorter. Does, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, Jaguars twenty three, Jets twenty eight. Yeah, the Jags. I, I'm I'm going to label them officially pesky. Pesky. I told you. Yeah, they're, they're they might be building something. Yeah, something might I, be something is something is happening because they're they're in games now. Right. And they're going they're going into places and uh, you know giving the Jets a little bit of a scariness in their own. House. Is it that hard for? I mean, the Jets are seeming to be showing a bit of jetness. Lately. Yeah, they are. You know, well, they're a little bit beat up too. So. Yeah, a few mistakes at the end there that cost Jacksonville the game. They could have. They could actually yeah. pulled that one out. But yeah, yeah, they are pesky. They're be Yes, they are. <laughs> they are. I wouldn't. Uh, I would not sleep on them. That's nope. for sure. Nope. The Raiders thirty-five. The Steelers thirty-eight. Yes. That great football team. We cheer the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, yeah. I mean, the Raiders came out like I had hoped they did, they, they they did, and then they kind of slumped in the middle where you guys mm. brought out a big at lead. The end. <laughs> yeah, their defense kind of. Yeah, well, their defense. Well, their but, defense the whole day bit it. Yeah. I they, mean, uh, you rack up 500 and some odd yards against them? Well, yeah, that w- and we set a record wow. of our own. That was the first time ever an NFL receiver has gone oh. over 300 yards total, and a running back has gone over 200 yards total. There you game. go. So, uh, yeah, uh, D'Angelo Williams, 170 yards on the ground and uh, another 30-plus in the passing game. The only thing that's holding Pittsburgh back is themselves and injuries. Well, yeah, they, 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 they got mean, to fight them, through them, man. Yeah, themselves meaning healthy, you know, and, being uh, healthy. Antonio Brown, what can I say about him other than he's the best receiver in the game? 284 yeah, yards. He can take <laughs> over a game. 17 catches, took uh, both franchise records from uh, – Pittsburgh. I just want to know how you let that guy that open in overtime. Yeah, <laughs> you know no, what I mean. The, uh, fourth quarter, you mean? Fourth quarter. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. No. Uh, yeah. No, fourth quarter. We didn't go to overtime. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, close, but not. it was close. Uh, the, uh, yeah. How do you let him in a pivotal? Uh, well, the last. That was the he last. Hard uh, to cover. <laughs> yeah, but you got to be able to double him. Yeah. You know what I they mean? They tried. They tried the whole second half. They can't. The guy's hard to cover. Well, you know what he though. Is, uh, if one team, you know, they always say, well, you can't, you can't, uh, there's no, how, how can I say it? There's no uh, teachable moments or what do you call it? There's no good losses. I think this is, I think this is when the Raiders, a loss, the Raiders can actually yeah. build on being such a young well, team. Well, absolutely. I, I, they were, they impressed me. I didn't, uh, that quarterback's good, man. Uh, I told John, I told uh, John last year, I said, you guys got yourselves a quarterback. He's he's going to be good. We uh, he's going to be really in there. The wide receiver there too. Shout out to uh, Big Ben. It's a past uh, Joe Montana and uh, Unitas, right? No, for uh, passing yards. Passing yards into thirteenth right. all time. Mm-hmm. Uh, and next up is Kerry Collins. <laughs> <laughs> that's stunning. That's the next that one. That he's of, even that high up. That's yeah, it's crazy, right? Well, yeah. I guess all the years he played that uh, probably helped. But uh yeah. I don't feel like he played that 90, long though. 95 to 2011 I have on here. Kerry Collins played. No. Yeah. 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 He yeah. was in the league just that. Yeah. Wow. 95 to 2011. 
I don't have this stat right here. That's kind of <laughs> crazy. Yeah. So uh, that's that. Kerry Collins. That's funny. But Ben got hurt in the fourth yeah. quarter. Um, they keep. They're keeping it, as they're far keeping as today. Open. Yeah. They're yep. keeping a slight little wedge open. I personally think he'll probably. He's just going to sit out uh, this week. We got the bye the week after, and uh, he'll be yeah. back for Seattle. I would think. But thank yep. God it was only a sprain and not a not a break. That Raiders looked, that put looked a, bad. The Raiders <laughs> put a scare into you. Yeah. Well, it was just a fluke thing, too. It wasn't even like a bad hit or anything. It was no. Just a, yeah. He kind of fell on him <laughs> at a weird angle. So, But, well, yeah, big win. damn injuries. Big win for us, I guess. Yes. Giants 32, Bucks 18. Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Giants defense still is pretty bad. Yeah, they looked better, though. Yeah. Um, Pierre Paul, you know, seemed like he made a little bit of difference. Three finger wonder. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, Tam- you know, it's Tampa Bay too. Yeah. Although I did pick them, but oh, yeah, well. I'm not. I'm. I'm still. I. I might have picked Tampa this week, and I'm having trouble with it. <laughs> um, a huge, huge upset disappointment. Falcons sixteen, forty nine or seventeen. Yes. What in I the know. bleepity bleep? <laughs> is going on. Blaine Gabbert. <laughs> oh, His first start since 2013. They pulled out a win <laughs> against Atlanta. That's crazy. That was you, crazy. You've been beaten by Blaine Gabbert. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> not many people, uh, not many teams have said that, I don't yeah. think. A short list. Yeah. Falcons, I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't they're, know. They're hopefully, this is bottoming sliding. out for them. I hope so. Jeez. It's you a wake up call. Yeah, something. Um, but we were talking about their defense before that. If their offense runs into trouble, that defense yeah. is not what it looks like. Yeah. Very, it's a uh, very yep. paper. Yes, sir. Broncos twenty four, Colts twenty seven. Yeah. One more undefeated team marked off the yep. list. Another one down. Down to three. Yep. Then there were three. Um. <laughs> you know, I I think it was a complete trap game. Yeah. And I, I guess, and, yeah. and not saying that they were looking forward to anything, but I just, I think they, um, I just think they relied too much on their defense, and you mm. know, eventually the defense is going to have somebody's going to figure it out. I'm sure, they're just going to have a bad game. Yep. Every it, it ha- you know, very, 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 not very often do you get the the uh, eighty five Bears, the. Uh, what do you call it? Um, two thousand Ravens. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Or I'll even put this one on the seventy six Steelers. Which, mm-hmm. if you look at that, that's the the amount. The half their season was shut shutouts. Yeah. The thing that the problem they ran into in the championship game is all their offense was on the on yeah. the bench hurt. Yep. In seventy six, but uh, that's one. That's probably might have been their best defense that year, and they didn't go to the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was eventually going to happen. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like it might have cost the Colts their quarterback. Right. You know, so. Yeah, they came out uh, They came out on fire. I mean, the new offensive coordinator there. Uh, the disappointment. I wonder if the trap game, I wonder if it was more of a hangover from Green Bay. Yeah, from could beating be. Green I mean, Bay. I guess, could be. You know. It, they, know. they may, You know, maybe they hand. just, it, that just happens. And they have. They have a division game, I think, this week. Right? KC. Yeah, we'll so see. So it could be overlooked. You know what I mean? Maybe yeah. overlooking, looking ahead. I don't know. I guess we'll find out if this is going to be their dip in the season, or mm-hmm. if this is just a one game, oh, you know, yeah, a, a one game thing. Eagles thirty three, Cowboys twenty seven. Yes. Overtime. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It, it it looked like two desperate teams that were yeah. just scrambling. Yeah. <laughs> Bradford is terrible. Yeah, Bradford is terrible. I mean, folks, he's terrible. He, he just <laughs> he just looks like he's just on the run every time. And Dallas has now lost every game that Romo has not played in. <laughs> <laughs> not good. Or <laughs> yeah, even with Des Bryant back, it just mm-hmm. yep. they can't seem to get it, and they're. Defense was getting hit with injuries at the end of the mm. game too. Yeah, which is uh, the not going to be good for them, especially with Sean Lee, their linebacker. If they, the, you know, that guy's the heart and soul of their defense, and he gets hurt every single year. Mm-hmm. You tell you got to want you got to look at that and say, you know, 
how far can you go each year with with that? Um, Bears twenty two, Chargers nineteen. Mm. Speaking of injuries, Chargers. Oof. They, they lost the, not this game <laughs> the week before. Mm. I heard this stat on Monday Night Football. They lost twelve players that game, <laughs> and and eight of them did not return yeah. this following week. Yeah, the last night. Yeah. They're that hurting. they talk about a medic unit, yeah. a mash unit. I mean, dear God, yeah, a dear God. And hey, Chicago, man, I pulled that one out. They were getting crushed. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. Were crushed I didn't see much man. of the first half. The set, or I didn't. I sorry, I did see. I didn't see much of the first quarter where they were just Bears looked. I guess completely a different team as they went on in the game. Mm-hmm. But from what I saw, um. You know, they it, just them being healthier than the Chargers. Yeah, yeah, the Chargers just aren't good because they're on the second and third string people that sure. are just oh, the Chargers just Man, a just, lost season. Do you see that pass that tight end caught that one hander? Oh yeah, sweet. for the win <laughs> for the winning <laughs> touchdown. Yeah, that was yeah, great. Uh, Zach Miller great catch. Yep, Zach Miller yep. been around for around a couple yeah. of teams. Yeah. yeah. That's a whole of a catch. That was his first catch in like a season yeah, and a half. So. Like a year and a half, yeah. season and a half. Wow, that was yeah. quite a catch. So. Um, I totaled out at 9 and 4. Uh, it was considerably worse than that one. Six and seven. Awesome. Oh. <laughs> I told you it was a bad week. <laughs> Jay had a bad week. Again. I'm totaling at 91 and 41. I am 80 and 52, if my math's correct. Uh, we're st- I still feel one bad week, and I could be. <laughs> you could be right. I've had a couple, so. Right there for that. Too many, too many uh, guesses here. <laughs> yeah. Trying to catch uh, up. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll start with my winners. Panthers, uh, I mean, that's two huge teams back-to-back with the uh, with the Packers. And who did they beat the week before? Oh. I thought they had back-to-back weeks of. Carolina. Who did they oh, play? Indy. They beat oh. Indy last week. Okay, maybe not two weeks back-to-back. Um. But the Panthers could keep rolling. Uh, the Bills getting a home win and sweeping the doll, a division to po- uh, an opponent. Steelers for, again, fighting through more injuries. Uh, the Titans, because that was a big upset. Mm-hmm. And the Colts, well, the Colts, because, I mean, no, taking an undefeated team off the, nobody gave them a shot. Yeah. I, uh, I actually had all the same teams. So all right. I, well. I agree with you there. Yep. My yep. losers, Packers, two weeks in a row. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Packers, two mm. weeks in a row, yes. losing to yes. two undefeated teams. Not mm-hmm. good. Yep. Uh, the Dolphins, because I, l- last week it was like, okay, you know, you lost to the Patriots. We'll give you that one. You look, mm-hmm. you 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 look really good. The two weeks before you lost, you lost this one to the Patriots. We'll give you that. But no, mm-hmm. sorry, that's just reaffirming things. Yes. Falcons, well, they lost to Blaine Gabbert. Yeah. <laughs> they're just, no. Uh, Broncos, because they're not undefeated anymore. Mm. And the Cowboys, because they can't, they can't, with all the Jerry Jones money, they can't buy a game. Yeah, it's true. Uh, I had Green Bay and Washington on my list. Uh, San Diego, just the injuries, man, that's uh, yeah. killing them. And, uh, Miami, I put on there because mm. they they had had showed some promise when they canned their coach, but now they're they're right back in the toilet. And uh, you know, I put Jacksonville on there, but I don't think I want to. I want to change that. I think I'll have to change that to Tampa Bay. Mm. Yeah, it's hard to put Jacksonville in there. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. Them there, just they're, being they're being pesky. Them just being <laughs> in the two in it with two minutes to go. Yeah. You gotta yeah. you gotta give them yeah. something for it. You know. My overall winner is the Panthers. You know they're chugging along. Yeah. Yep. I they gotta are, agree there too. They are chugging along, and uh, my overall loser is the Packers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I put that same one. Uh, yes. Just. Yes. And uh, I'm going to do something new this week, my top five dumpster fires. 
<laughs> starting with uh, number five being the Cowboys because they can't win a game. Mm. The Dolphins, I think you said it pretty much. Yeah. You know, they're, they're a disaster. The Browns, because I think from organizationally, from head to toe, they're just mm. – and I think Petten's a pretty decent coach. But I think what he's – I don't particularly care for Farmer, their GM. I don't think he's doing a good job. I think uh-huh. that's where they should probably – cut somebody right there uh the number two the redskins Mm -hmm. same uh, yeah just same thing yeah terrible um and the detroit lions number one because they've just about fired everybody but the head coach yeah i mean literally everybody but the head coach (laughs) yes um i had a few things here that i I saw in usa today sports came out with now their top uh, uh, in ranking, they had their power rankings out, and I was just interested in the, how they ranked the undefeated teams. Yeah. Patriots, number one, Bengals, two, Carolina, three. Why is Carolina number three? I don't understand. They've, yeah. they've played the most. I Yeah, that's weird. The, the, I saw that, but I didn't look at it on a glance. So. The, the harder opponents. The Patriots have played the least hardest opponents. Mm-hmm. So I, I, to me, Carolina should be number one. Yeah, uh, yeah, I would. Yeah, you know, is my at least a solid two. I yeah. can't see them being below Cincinnati. I can't see them being below the Patriots. Yeah. I, 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 I do not give the Patriots a pass. Yeah, I think yeah, the Patriots. I'd... Even you know, everybody's well. Tom Brady's pissed off. Mm. No, I think even if this was a regular season for the Patriots, they would be where they are because they're. Their schedule has been so light. Yes, I I agree. <laughs> I agree. Their schedule is uh, is not so light. Yep. I mean, that jeez, I'm surprised. The Packers are at five. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Yeah. There. Yeah. Well, see, I don't even get farther into the power yeah. rankings because then I'll start getting more angry. <laughs> you know, I'll yeah. start getting more and more, and more and more angry with it. You know. Yeah. yeah, but I well, I was just th- that that just amused me when I just yeah. happened to glance at the power rankings. Car- Panthers were three. Yeah, that is. Uh, and I was like, why they yeah. should be what well more than that? Mm-hmm. They should be number one, I think. Yeah. Patriots number two, Bengals number three. I don't even usually pay attention to that. Yeah, I don't either. But I just it happened to be right <laughs> up there next to the yeah. other thing I was reading by USA Today Sports was the uh, the seven coaches on the hot seat. And a couple of them I kind of disagree with. Uh, obviously, Caldwell for the Lions, yeah. he got to go at the end of the season. Yeah. You got a clean house there. If you're going to fire the GM yeah. <laughs> in in season, right. you, you he got to yeah. go. Caldwell got to go. Same thing I, I feel with Pagano with the Colts. Yeah. He's yeah. got to go, too. I think so. You know, he's... He's a defensive coach, and their defense doesn't look very. Yeah. Has never looked very great. Yeah, you know, if I'm in there, I want an offensive-minded coach. Sure, to take care of right <laughs> to take care of the franchise quarterback. Absolutely. Uh, Mike Pettin with the Browns. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I, I I don't know if I agree with that because I I I guess I look at more of what he's got to deal with. Yeah. And I it's think not that's very good. Higher up than him. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't yeah. think he's doing a terrible job. Right. You know, he's had to deal with the whole distraction his yeah. whole time there with Menzel. Yeah, yeah. and they've uh, no quarterback. They've they actually have been pesky, as I like to put it, all yeah. year. So I mean, I don't think they're they're that horrible. He took the job with uh, Josh Gordon there. You know, number one. He thought he had a number yeah. one receiver that right. now is gone. Yeah. You know, he yeah. had all these the, these things ho- he thought he had in place. Sure. And then the Menzel Circus, and mm-hmm. they, you know, he I I if if I was the owner of the Browns, he wouldn't be what I'd be looking at as the problem. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't even know how this guy is on a hot seat, Mike McCoy of the Chargers. Really? Yeah. He how can he be blamed for right. the whole this team basically? Bug. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I could understand if he lost his running back or one guy on offense, one guy in defense, and they uh, then they went right down the toilet. Then I'd sure. be like, "Well, you got to, as you said with the Steelers, you got to play through those." Right. But when you're missing 
literally when you have when the backups playing outnumber the, the original starters sure. that are playing <laughs> yeah. you shouldn't be blamed for this yeah i mean that's why you know tomlin always says that and i always I like that he says the standard is the standard yeah so yeah he i expects I, uh, you know at least there's a line that you got to play to and he's mm-hmm. expecting that at least from your backups so yeah well next man he's up it's got to be right sure yep. so i i disagree with him, with yeah. mccoy there yeah, I, you yeah. know yeah uh, I don't even know how to say this guy's name. The 49ers head coach, Jim Tamzula. Oh, T- Tamazula. Tamazula. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, I, I, I don't know if he's good or not yeah. because I mean his team was ravaged in the off season. Right. Retirements. Yeah. People leaving. Yeah. I I mean, look what he was left with. So I mean, that's kind of hard to judge. Yeah. You know, somebody on that, you know, maybe, maybe, uh, him being a sucker for Kaepernick. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that might get him fired, but, yeah. um, Gus Bradley of the Jaguars. He's just getting, it yeah, seems I, like he's just right, getting traction. I'm surprised that's in. Yeah. No, he's on there. Hmm. He's just getting traction, man. They're expecting quicker or bigger things. I don't know. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get talent in there for yeah. guys. I think to they're work doing with. pretty good for what they got. I don't. Yeah, I think this year among anything, they're 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 really, you know, yeah, got some traction at, at least to build. You know, hey, listen, if they keep going the way they're going this year in an upward direction, and then next year they just all falls apart on them, then I say, okay, you got to get somebody else in there. But it looks like they're heading. Talent is finally being accrued there mm-hmm. you know and that that's how it should be so you should yeah. have a chance with it and then the last one they had on there was jay gruden with the redskins which i think you ought to fire the owner the gm <laughs> and jay gruden <laughs> yeah. and change the damn last name of the team the nickname of the team <sighs> you know how about to the washington dumpster fires <laughs> because that whole place is just <sighs> That's a mess. Surprised they haven't just said we're going to move them to move them to L.A. <laughs> I think Jacksonville is going to be the next the team so? in London. Oh, the team that moves to London. Uh, the the owners from London. He has oh, a soccer he? team. I didn't even know that. He has a, owns a huh. soccer team over there. Yeah. Con there, yeah, uh, yeah. I Con. I wouldn't be surprised. Con. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. That's what I was yelling at the Bills London game, Jacksonville game. Con. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if you, so, but I just don't know how they're going to work that with. Yeah, that's great. I, with it's the bad t- enough going across country, but going across the pond. Oh uh, yeah, I mean what? Is, I mean that's like an eight-hour trip. Yeah, I don't know, <laughs> man. I don't know either. That's pretty I brutal. Don't know. Yeah. But anyway, um, yeah. So those that was our week nine wrap up, and we'll be right back with week ten. In your face, all over the place. We're online 24 7. 24 7. You're listening to the hottest internet station. Bob and John, Super Duper Variety Power. You just gotta keep living, man. L I V I N. Listen to Bob and Jay's Pro Football Podcast every Wednesday, wherever you find Bob and John's Super Duper Variety Power Hour. Get a hold of us at Bob and Jay's Pass Rush at gmail.com and at Pass Rush Podcast on Twitter. Bob and Jay's Pro Football Podcast. Thank you, John. Yes, thanks, John. Uh, so week 10, we will hit. Yes. And week 10, we'll start off with Thursday night, Bills at the Jets. Yes. I'll let you go first. I'm uh, I'm going Buffalo. I think they're going to go down there to uh, New Jersey and uh, pull one out. Spank them, huh? Yeah. I'm going to go with the Jets. Yeah. <laughs> Just because... I was leaning there, but I just I just think the Buffalo's going to go down there and pull them out. I don't know. I've got a weird feeling. Uh, uh, t- to me, the only team the Bills have been able to pull anything out on are the <laughs> Dolphins. So I'm I'm 
uh, I'm just skeptical, yeah. and that's just my that's just me being a Bills fan for the <laughs> you know I should say the last ten years of me being a Bills fan you know is a little uh, man it's uh, yeah I don't have it there I'm not quite there yet they yeah. need to show me something <laughs> it, it because uh, Buffalo with the Patriots in the second week all this huge build up mm. uh, I don't know why with the uniforms thing. What's with the uniforms? This color splash they're doing. The what? They're they're the Bills are all have all red uniforms. Oh really? Yeah, it's oh. the new. It's going to be the new third. Nike's oh, put the them new out. Third one there, the special. Yeah, well they're <laughs> doing them. I guess it's going to be the Thursdays the rest of the way. Oh really? So and hmm. the Jets are in all green. Oh really? So it looks like a ketchup monster <laughs> meeting for, for Kermit the Frog. <laughs> yeah, you huh. know. It looks like a Power Ranger against Kermit the Frog. <laughs> it's huh, I, I don't know, know why they know that. It, Yeah, I don't know why they actually I like the Bills all blue ones when they wear the blue pants and mm-hmm. blue jersey. Yeah. But this is like red socks, red shoes. Really? Everything red except for the you know, same helmet. <laughs> and same with the 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 uh the Jets but with green. Huh. Wow. So it that's brutal and and I don't know. I just feel like this is a hype thing, and when the Bills seem to get hyped, they tend to step on their dick. <laughs> you know what I mean? Pardon my French, people, yeah. but that seems to be what happens. And Rex, do you see Rex Ryan's? Uh, he had his press conference today. His normal press conference. He wore a Clemson helmet the whole time. Oh yeah, because his son goes uh-huh. to Clemson, and they're yeah. number one in the polls, college football. <laughs> So he's having some war with a Jets player who oh went boy. to Clemson, and yeah, it's it's just silly, silly. Just play the damn game. <sighs> yep. But I take the I'm taking the Jets on that. Okay. Saints, Redskins. Saints. Redskins. I don't know. Uh, you know, I, I know. I almost was was worried. I, I'm going New Orleans uh, just because I think Washington's fairly bad. Um, yeah, but the Saints defense it's at is Washington. so bad. Yeah, it's at Washington. I, I was almost going to go with Washington there, but I got to go with New Orleans. You know I what? Think that, uh, Screw it. I'm going with Washington. I'm going right. with the home team. All right. I've had it with the Saints. They've been <laughs> jerking me up and down yeah. all season. I don't like them. All right. Lions at Packers. Green Bay all the way there. Yep, Green Bay. Which, I, you know, who knows? <laughs> they're, they're pissed. Oh, yeah. I would think, think they're pissed. You would think. They're going to well. straight At home, they're going to straighten some stuff yeah. out. They've had two I rough road games. Yeah, I can't see them dropping three in a row. <laughs> no. And before last week, Aaron Rodgers was 15-0 and 0 after a loss. Mm. Mm. Crazy. Mm. Cowboys at Bucks. I'm going with Dallas. This, to me, is a scary game, too, but I'm going to go with Dallas. I'm going to go Tampa Bay. Yeah. I was almost going to pick that myself. I don't think Dallas can win a game until Romo yeah. comes back. Yeah, I know. So I'm 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 against Dallas all the way till Romo gets back. Tampa Bay is just horrible at home. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, um, but they all they need is a little bit of life, and I think the yeah. Cowboys can – mediocreism yeah. can yeah. give that to them. Uh, I know. So I, I, I told you this week I was I picking some, oh, a lot, yes. lot of the box yeah. ones. <laughs> Panthers, Titans. Jeez, I you know I I'm going with Carolina there. Yeah. I, I almost wanted to go Tennessee. I just think that's no. going to be a kind of a yeah. trap for them too. But Carolina I, so far, yeah. But I I I just don't see the Panthers. I don't know getting in too much of a, yeah. a trap mode. You know what I mean? Mm. They seem to be really kind of steady with how they're playing. Yeah. Um, Bears Rams. Uh, Rams. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going with the Rams also. Dolphins, Eagles. I'm going Philadelphia. I'm going to go with the Eagles. Yeah, no, no way. No way with the Dolphins. Um, Jaguars, Ravens. Oh, that one. I, I, this one was a hard one, too. I didn't even circle anything yet. Uh, I'm going to go with Baltimore because they're at home. I'm going Jacksonville. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to go with that, too. I'm going with the I'm pesky give, bunch. I know. I was going to give Baltimore the edge because they're home. I like what I've been seeing. I'm yeah. going to go with Jacksonville. No, I, and I feel the Ravens are enough of a medic unit to, yeah. to uh, not be able to hold them off. Browns at Steelers. I'm going Pittsburgh. Regardless of Ben's Evil health, I'm going Steelers. Yeah. 
Landry Jones has shown he can he can play. So yeah. D'Angelo Williams has shown he can still play. So <laughs> he he's scary. It, I never had the thought he couldn't play, but he is another health pr- uh, problem waiting to happen. Yeah, because yep. he's had that issue. Yeah, as a full timer. So. So he scares me in that, but not over the Browns. Yeah. <laughs> I think they can. I think they can muster something yeah. out over the Browns. Although the Browns are pesky, they are. Uh, I heard that. Where is he? Yeah, I heard that. Uh, Vikings at the Raiders. I'm going with Oakland. Uh, I am too, because I don't know Teddy Bridgewater's status. Yeah, that could either make or break it. <laughs> so I'm going with the Raiders. I think they're going to be a little bit scares me is getting adrian peterson and going up against that yeah. defense that just let 500 some odd yards yeah. with your well, they were they were a number two uh, run run team. yeah they went from number two yeah. to like yeah, 85 sure. yeah and there's not even that many teams nope. patriots giants you know this one scares me too statistic <laughs> for you <laughs> the giants are the only team since 2008 not to lose to the patriots Oh, that the Patriots have not beaten since 2008. Really? They've beaten everybody else but the Giants. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to take the Patriots. Yeah, <laughs> I am too. I, <laughs> I can't pick the Giants, sorry. Yeah. No, no. The Chefs at the Broncos, Chiefs at the Broncos. Uh, I'm going Denver. Uh, I'm going Kansas City. Yeah. Andy Reid is immaculate after the bye week. Hmm. And uh, I think they might be catching the Broncos. Uh, DeMarcus Ware is not playing. Mm-hmm. He's out for a couple of weeks, which is a big deal with their pass rush. Mm-hmm. And the Chiefs had a great game in London before that. I think uh, I think Andy Reid is getting the ship in place a little bit better. No, they're not going to listen. Ship? I said the ship, <laughs> not the shit, the ship. Uh Righted, but they're obviously not enough to get them anywhere. But mm-hmm. I think uh, the the first game was very, very. You know, ve- I mean, that came down to like the last play of the game. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Cardinals at Seahawks. Uh, I'm going with Arizona. I'm going Arizona too. I don't think the Seahawks are the Seahawks of the yeah, last two years. Arizona come out the bye week and uh, yeah, Arizona. Oh, that's right. Arizona had a bye week yep. too, didn't they? Did Seattle too? Yeah, both of them. Oh, did. they both had bye weeks. So. All right, well, that's right. very rare that you see that yeah. actually. Um, the Texans at the Bengals. Uh Cincinnati. Yeah, I mean, it pains me, but I'm not taking. But <laughs> the only thing is, though, is that just it is Monday night on a large stage, which might scare Cincinnati. They tend to crumble yeah. on a large stage. Yeah, hopefully, but <laughs> <laughs> and I did pick them so. <laughs> so those are our picks for week 10 well everybody enjoy quick uh quick shout out to uh all the veterans for veterans day which yes. will be showing out veterans thank day. you for your service my salute to service shirt i'm wearing absolutely and uh jay's got the shirt on thank you thank yes. you to everyone out there if anyone's listening that's a veteran thank you absolutely and thanks for listening <laughs> and uh yeah what he said <laughs> and uh we'll see you here for week 11 Bye. Bye. From Homebrew Studios, this is Ben Bob and Jay's Pro Football Podcast. Brought to you by Bob and John Super Duper Bar.